is first, so we can put the L right there. So drivers know I'm training. Good morning everyone, today I'm heading over to Vancouver Transit Center, also known as BTC, to look at the behind the scenes of the operations that Translink has for the buses. And I'm super excited for this because this has been a dream of my childhood and today it's finally coming true. And right now I'm here at Marine Drive Station, which I've never been outside of the Skytrain Station before, to catch the bus 100 over to Vancouver Transit Center. Here's a fun fact for those of you that have never taken the bus 100, including myself, both directions of the 100, so Marple and 22nd Avenue Station, they all board from the same bus stop. You excited? Oh yeah, definitely. Thank you. Thank you, driver. We've made it here to Marple Loop, BTC, the Vancouver Transit Center. Wow, it looks pretty cool already from the outside. Can't wait to get you inside. Welcome to Vancouver Transit Center and today we're here to get a tour of behind the scenes of all the operations and I'm here with Trevor as well. What's up guys? Tell you to start the bus, press and hold that, and you'll hear the engine start. This is your, your A pillar. Trust your mirrors and have a look straight ahead. Cool. Time to learn how to drive a bus. So go ahead and start the bus. So press the start button there. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's actually high. Yeah. Wow, and then door? Yeah. There it is. This is the front door? Yeah, that's the front door. And then if I push one more, it's oh. the back door. Uh, and here, for telescope, so push it down and then you can raise it and lower it. Once it's locked in, you can also pull up the lever so you can tilt it. Just and that, yeah, that's, yeah, that's as far as it goes. Oh, it's just going. Okay, yep. so now that's the brake. Uh, go ahead and put it into drive. All right, pull up on the yellow uh, thing there, yep. And what's the parking brake? Oh, that's uh, emergency parking brake release. Oh, okay. So, all I want you to do is give a little bit of gas to feel the movement. It's, your seat is going to bounce a little bit oh. to give you that simulation. Wow. Now, stop the bus again. There you go. And that's what's going to feel. What I want you to do now is take the front of the bus and just drive to that line. Now, here's, here's, the, here's the trick. I want you to back up the bus and you see the cone on this side? Yes. You see the cone on that side? Yes. I want you to put it in between the two cones. And I'm gonna get out of your way here. So reverse? Uh, put it in neutral first, and now reverse. Oh, okay, so it has to be neutral first. The 
this time and the red. And the red light. I have to drive the bus on the grass. Well, I feel the curve. In the simulator, Jamie can remove all your trashing or part of your trashing to simulate the snowy condition. <laughs> Stupid drivers on the road. This is why you should take transit to bypass all the other cars using the HOV lane. I cut off a fire truck to get off the exit. Yeah, Charlie, can I take over? This is not how you drive. Don't cut ever cut the bus off. Safety's first, with the best. Oh my gosh, there's a trolley hallway here. I know. So this is where we bring our trainees. This is a close look at the trolley wires. Yeah, what is this piece? What do we got here? Yeah, so that is a popo switch. Yep. So what we would normally do is we have, uh, you can see the sign up there yep. we would throw down our teardrops mm -hmm. that are in you know, one of the other yep. rooms right now and talk to the trainees about okay what would you need to be doing you're sitting in your bus mm -hmm. the teardrops are coming up or the triangles depending on if you're a 60 foot versus a 40 oh. foot okay and you can really get a representation of how far away you are right from where it all actually happens back mm -hmm. there oh right. so we've got a popo switch there yep. and you can see some insulators and you're coming here. Now this would just be a traditional crossover, right? You know, which you'd see in a, mm -hmm. in, a in an intersection where there's trolley wire on both both pieces of the road, and you can't put two live wires together. Mm -hmm. So you can see it jumping over. You see that there? Oh, um, right. Okay. So that shows you that the, the signal's jumping over, and that way you're not putting two live wires on each other. Now our speed through a popo switch. Yes. Is any guesses? Twenty kilometers an hour. Eight. Eight. Eight kilometers an hour is hmm. what we're looking for Wait. when you go through a popo switch. Oh. Okay. When we go through a crossover here, yep. which you'll also hear the term special work. All of this could be considered special work. Right. Specifically, this is a crossover. Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh. Fifteen okay. through that. Now over wow. here, this is another type of switch. Yes. This is a selectric switch. So you're not making a choice in the coach uh -huh. like you would with a popo switch. Right. Do I want a coaster power? The positioning of the bus. These contactors, if your poles are coming along and you're going straight, yep. it's going to hit that one and then that one. That tells this switch, we're just going straight. Right. Oh. So the position of the bus does all the work. Now, if you're going straight through a selectric switch, mm -hmm. 15 kilometers an hour. Right. Wow. If you're turning, eight eight so what will happen when you turn your poles are going to offset right as you turn and that oh. means they will hit the contactors at the same time right which will then tell the switch oh we're going to go this way and now a lot of people don't understand why is a trolley slowing down for an intersection and we have people honk at us 
Right. Then so they you realize, realize yeah. that there's requirements for. They didn't know that. And this, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of this wire was hung in, I believe it was 1946. Oh, so yeah. It's been wow. around for a long time. Maybe. What's that? <laughs> so they can't, they can't throw the juice pedal Through to the, one of the yeah. Could, but you could potentially yeah. do a lot of damage. Wire, yeah. You probably hear about overhead coming yeah. down. You know, 600 volts up there. Okay. Yeah. It's, uh, we want to be That's careful. A lot of power, a lot of, yeah. That right? makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Here we always want to look yep. both ways, Let's go ways. Potentially, yeah. you could have traffic coming. Oh wow! Why are some buses trolley still up, others are down? Uh, it just depends on how the yard wants to move stuff around. Oh. So they might like, for example, today the bus we're taking out 2248. Yes. Uh, the poles were down. Oh. When when I, I picked it up. Mm hmm. You can't give it one third throttle right. to increase the yep. the rate of the, the motor. Um, but we take a specific look at the pole, so oh, I can okay. walk you around and show you what yeah. we're what we're uh, and now specific for trolleys. Good visual confirmation that all the pieces up there look good. You know, you've got oh, the different collector. You've got the harp's head. Yeah, right. The shoes, and we want to check the retriever. Right. Mm -hmm. We want to feel that that all is well intact. So you just you're really giving it a tug just to see that it's okay. Ooh. So in this compartment. Yeah, in this compartment, there's a whole bunch of little batteries. Right. That's yes. our emergency power unit. Right. That you're going to see get used. We're always going to put it in gear before we release our parking brake. Yep. Oh. Parking brake's down here. Right. Oh, very good. So the yard speed in Vancouver Transit Center is 15. Oh, okay. The trolley itself, you can see the wire. We're on the yeah. 2021 wire right mm -hmm. here. Uh, the vehicle itself can go about 12 feet away from the wire. That's how the poles can stretch out a little mm -hmm. bit. So as we get closer, we're having a good scan here. I'm going to put my signal on. Yep. We like to see four flashes on our signal before yeah. we actually move. Shoulder check where we're going. Learning how to drive a trolley bus here at Vancouver Transit Center with Translink. And safety is first, so we can put the L right there. So drivers know I'm training. <laughs> Into a there you go. So now we want that nice yeah, smooth takeoff. <laughs> so now give it one third throttle. There we go. Wow, I'm driving. Theo's driving now, Sarah. Again, we have 
have no power. Yes. It pulls her down. Right. All this is going on. So we got the EPU, put it in forward, release the brake, turn on for four ways. Our brakes are nowhere near as good when we are on EPU. We don't have our electrodynamic braking right. retarding system. So again, brake, bleed, off, and four ways on. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. So keep your hands low. So a little bit lower, pull up, there you go. Now, there hand you go. under hand. Keep your hands as low as you can. Try and keep them down in your core. Working on my arms now. Okay. So do your best to keep your hands a little bit lower. Bring them down to here. There you go. Bring your hands. There you go. Now just beat it up. Hand under hand. Nice and gentle. So that's 70 pounds of pressure on that spring. Oh, wow. It's actually really... Uh... So once you line it up, keep going hand under hand. Hand under hand. Hand under hand. Wow. Oh, almost there. Got a ways to go. Hand under hand. You're almost there. There you go. Yeah. Wow, first try. Oh, wow. Yeah, first try there. Now we're there, we're good. Head back in. Sounds good. Good job. That's yeah, really now, if you were a full puller or a full setter, like say a bus just yeah. used to use with a full cup, you would then give them to the Yep. Go. You're good. Stop. Uh, Trolley carbon. Center right nine with center of your front doors. Apply max brake and turn power off. Wait for green LED light flashing to go for So this is what the staff here are doing. So they're pulling this down. They oh, bring both that down. Yep. They have the hammer. You can see all the fresh carbons here. Yep. And they would be changing this carbon right here. I'm not going to do that. I'm not yep. qualified to do that. They take that carbon out and they'll hammer in a new one. Oh, oh. what's the carbon for? This is what contacts the wire. Oh gets the electricity on this pathway. Oh. And so when, when your carbon falls out of the chute, this piece, you, you'll, be, you'll be constantly dewiring. Wow. And then when they're done, they will put it back up on the wire. There you go. And then they will say, you can go. Oh. Green light on the line. They might see something broken on there. Yeah. And they might say, bad B -O, order, yeah. B-O. Oh, be with that. So they hit that one. Oh. Yeah. The light. And then what they would generally do is walk down there and talk to you and say, uh, current collector, you know, piece up there is damaged. Yep. Park it on track four. Right, write this up on the on the pre-trip card. I know a lot of your friends out there want the 480 from Bridgeport Station to UBC back. And I brought it back for all of you today in trolley format for one day only. Oh, sweet. This is the Vancouver Transit Center garage where all the buses get their maintenance and repairs done. Yeah. This is them. So this, for example, you figure out what work you're doing. Yes. Okay, so this is all line group nine. So all of the work on Broadway, what block number. And then you'd say, okay, oh, my bus is parked on track 55 and that's the bus I'm taking. And that's how many kilometers that bus is gonna do. Wow. While it's out. That's right here. Daily output deep, so this yeah. is how the depot knows that all the operators are supposed to do the work or signed in. We have our spare board table and stuff like that where the daily yeah. assignments get posted and the spare board operators do yeah. all that. This is the depot staff oh, okay. coordinate all of them. a lot of things going on here. So here's all the schedules that go out with the transit operators. Oh. So you again, so you remember we looked at the track sheet for yeah. nine. Okay. And say you're 16 on the 9, this will be your paddle. Oh, okay, and the dropping number nine. Yep, so this is the work you're doing, this is when you're out, right there when you're leaving, so oh. you do 20 minutes to do your pre-trip, and then this one came back at 10, 12 Control. today. Hi right, everyone, this concludes the tour today at Vancouver Transit Center. A special thank you to Transing social media team, Sarah and Alan, for inviting Trevor and I for a special tour.
Another shout out to Fanjo for Transit Center trainers, Jamie and Joe for training us on the bus simulator and the wheel trolley bus as well. And if you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to say a big thank you to your drivers out there because they take a lot of effort to drive the bus. See you later. Be nice to drivers.